I'm sure this thing weighed a quarter of the weight that it used to. You just push on it, the oil just seeps up. Not gonna need that anymore. I'm definitely seeing some oil there. I'm not exactly sure where this guy was leaking from. There we go. Guessing by the gasket. I'd say somewhere about right here. Man, that is just dried up and nasty. Got quite a bit right here laying on it. Looks like there's a little bit up here. Oh well. Looks pretty clean. Got the tappet cover cleaned up. Got my new gasket here ready to put on. See, new gasket, old gasket. Go ahead and get that put on. And I've spent the majority of the evening so far cleaning this side of the engine using the Purple Power degreaser, a brown Scotch Brite pad, and a whole lot of elbow grease. And it's looking much, much nicer. This whole area right here. We're just covered in goo. So we're gonna to have to go ahead and pull our, my little caps here that I had. That was covering the channels here for the drains. I'm gonna give that a quick wipe down and then we're gonna get started putting that tappet cover on. And then uh, I think we're gonna to move to the fuel pump. Got my gasket in for it, so we'll clean that surface up and get started. So the gasket even comes with its own uh, little instructions. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says forward right here with the arrow pointing towards the front of the engine. And then if you look right here, it's got a little tag that tells you this is front. And since this, this is the side that's printed, this is the side that it's going to be pointing. That gasket, it's broader on the back. I say gasket, it's more like a rubber band really. This end, uh, see how like this end isn't as thick right here, but if when you flip it over, the uh, the broad side is much wider. All right, so I checked up. It turns out, it looks like these need to be torqued down to 18 foot-pounds, so that's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do. Uh, I actually have already done it. But let me double check here. All right, and we're good. On to the fuel pump.
We'll just tighten down this banjo bolt here. And click. That's me torquing it down. I think it's time for the injection pump, but I gotta clean it up. 